Acroporin-4 autoantibodies are known to be pathogenic in neuromyelitis spectrum disorders. We aim to develop an in vitro system using patient peripheral blood lymphocytes to interrogate traditional models of long-lived autoantibody production and to try and ask whether we could differentiate between germinal centre reactions and long-lived plasma cells as the main mechanism of aquaporin-4 antibody production. We also use this to study tolerance mechanisms and also to look at conditions which might promote aquaporin-4 antibody production. In particular, we chose conditions which mimic T cells, mimic infections and also mimic the sorts of cytokines which are known to be elevated in NMO spectrum disorders. In order to study these cells, we selected 12 patients from the Oxford Neuromyelitis Optica Clinic that fulfilled the 2015 Wingershuk criteria for Neuromyelitis Optica Spectrum Disorders. 11 of the 12 patients were female. They ranged from 18 to 75 years of age with a median of 51 and 50% of the patients were Caucasian. Patients were sampled at a median of just over three years from diagnosis, and despite therapy, they had persistent serum aquaporin for antibodies with a wide range of titers. Antibody secreting cells were sorted from total peripheral blood mononuclear cells and cultured in conditions shown to maintain antibody secreting cells, such as IL-6. While we were able to detect considerable total antibody in these cultures, we weren't able to detect any aquaporin for specific antibodies. PBMCs from all patients except for the two treated with rituximab produce IgG in culture. The production of aquaporin 4 antibodies was almost exclusively dependent on the presence of CD4 T ligand, and the best stimulating conditions included TLR ligand R848 and IL-2. Aquaporin 4 antibodies were not produced by any of the matched healthy controls under the same stimulating conditions. The serum aquaporin-4 IgG level was the only identifiable parameter to correlate with the capacity of peripheral B cells to produce aquaporin-4 IgG in vitro, and the degree of immunotherapy and the time from disease onset had no impact on the level of aquaporin-4 antibody production in our system. Finally, to refine which B cell subsets were critical for aquaporin-4 IgG production, we stimulated pre- and post-germinal center B cell subsets. As expected, post-germinal center memory B cell subsets conferred aquaporin-4 specificity. However, and unexpectedly, this was also the case for the naive antigen inexperienced B cell population, which has important implications for the disease etiology. In summary, our data show that circulating B cells rather than antibody secreting cells have the capacity to produce aquaporin-4 antibodies. This in vitro capacity is proportional to the serum level of aquaporin-4 antibodies. And this latter observation implies that germinal centres, rather than long-lived plasma cells, may be the likelier source of the aquaporin-4 antibody ongoing production. And finally, we showed that pre-germinal centre B cells can produce aquaporin-4 antibodies, suggesting that a very early checkpoint is broken in these patients, and it's an early loss of tolerance which might promote the development of NMO spectrum disorders.